but uh, uh, how do you feel about going back? I think, are you uh, trying to bring out bailout packages and uh, make sure that all the big industries go back again to their actions? Or this is a time to think a little bit. How do I you... Think, I think... Uh, I think the immediate issue in India, massive issue, was the migrants issue, yeah. and what you know, what you call the micro entrepreneurs, who were suddenly found stranded, who found themselves stranded, and I and I spoke to quite a few of them, and I, I saw firsthand what they were going through. Literally, their world had just fallen apart, and they were forced to go back uh, to their village. So the first aspect of it was trying to look after those people immediately, and there. Uh, our perspective was uh, give them food, give them uh, cash injection directly to keep them to keep them afloat. Uh, the government had a different view; they didn't really do that. Uh, they they sort of didn't feel that that was necessary. Then we had this big crisis of millions of people uh, going home, uh, walking thousands of miles. I suspect you had it in Bangladesh as well. But I I completely agree with you. I've I think that if you don't come out of Corona with a new imagination, you've missed a huge opportunity, both as an individual and as a, as a nation. I think, I think what Corona is telling you is that what you have been doing so far is problematic. And as you're saying, reset, start with a, start with a blank page and start with a new imagination. Of course, of course, uh, you can't, make a jump like that in, in, in governance, but at least the mind should go there. And then the rest of the institutions and other things will follow. So I'm, I completely agree with you that, that if there's ever been a time for a change in imagination, I think the world, the world changed its imagination after the World War II, the last time, the real big imagination and change. And I think Corona is, is such an opportunity that we can just reimagine things and, and rebuild them. I also think that Countries like ours have a bigger opportunity than other countries simply because we have so much more room to play with, so many more younger people, and we have a lot more to build than, say, the Western world, which has already built a lot of their infrastructure.